to the next question. What is the hype index in quant trading launching? Okay, uh, there is no hype index. I think you're talking about sentiment analysis. So that's something our team is still testing. Timeline for that is probably sometime next year, but there has been a delay on the quant grade and the new trader grade. Those probably will be launching sometime next month, unfortunately, uh, just because we've been putting lots of other files out <laughs> with our data provider, current market cap. They made some changes to the API, which kind of broke things. Uh, but we do hope to have that ready by next month. So for those who don't know, we plan to do a complete retooling of our entire trading system on tokenmetrics. So here, let me pull this up here on, on the screen to show you how this will affect all our customers. But we think this change is for the better because now we'll remove the subjectivity out of what we do and make it even more objective, meaning, hey, we could even find projects like Hex uh, without having to li listen to all the noise, right? So if we go to token metrics, right now we have two grades. We have trader grade and, and value investor grade. Value investor grade is based on our team going through doing fundamentals, code reviews, and then we have automated TA based on the AI. But the plan is based on our back testing, it's actually more efficient if we make a new grade based purely on 54 quantitative data points. So metrics such as shop ratio, max drawdown, things that quants use. And this grade has been more accurate than even our humans, right? So this will become the new value investor grade. And then the trader grade will be a combination of our price prediction models and the TA grade. Because look, if we combine those into one grade, it's more accurate. So those two new grades will be launched sometime next month. It'll make the platform easier for everyone because now there'll be less grades. So it'll be very easy for whether you're a trader or investor to know what to do. And we're always open to feedback. So feel free to just email our team, support at tokenmetrics.com. And uh, Bill, anything to add to that with the launch of our new grades? Yeah, we're making it easier and easier for people to not only find portfolios, but to try to sit down and figure out maybe even one or two things that they want to take a look at to tuck away or to trade, right? I think people like trading in crypto, even though they don't win, it's almost like... Um, I don't know. It's, it's the like most a hobby. adopted use case by far. Right. And Bitcoin, we're, Bitcoin's we're, utility we're, token for BitMEX. Lol. <laughs> we, we're going to make it easier for people to make decisions uh, based on numbers rather than by emotions. And these new grades uh, are even an improvement on what we have right now. Yeah. I mean, because I think one of the cool things about it is this will really remove any subjectivity. I mean, because like, that's why we have our guest Richard here, right? Lots of people have been bashing his project. Uh, now, as mentioned before, I'm not, I'm not bullish on the project long-term. I don't own any hex, but as, as a trade, it's been making money. I mean, even to a point where our, our price prediction index back in July had about 600% returns. And that was mainly from, from holding hex, right? So I think the power of AI in quant trading is there's no emotions in it right so it, it just likes to make money <laughs> right so we think you gotta you got ask your ai what how much more long term can you get than the people that literally lock their coin for 10 years and you could look at them and see that they're real people and yeah. see what else they own and when they got their coins i don't know what they could do more extra to show long-term belief it's i wouldn't would you lock your coins in anything for 10 years i don't think you would and yeah. I, I don't i didn't think anyone would we gave them the option. I'm, it blows my mind every time I see a 10 year stake because it's like, wow, they believe as much as I do. It's crazy. Well, the cool thing is the new quant grade will have it optimized for different time horizons. So we'll have it for day traders, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annually, and maybe even one for longer time frames. right? But the idea is even value investors will be able to have a purely quantitative objective approach to investing and maybe it can capture those hidden gems that nobody can really find, whether it's hacks or anything out there like that. So tell us what you think. If you have any feedback or input down in the comments below.